Welcome to Equilibrium Studio. Today, we have a gentle fun sequence to mobilize all joints in the body. And we're going to focus on the rotation, which is the movement of twisting on your own axis. So stand with your two feet hip width distance apart and parallel. Press the feet into the floor and feel that you're reaching tall up towards the ceiling. And let's start from head all the way down to the toes. So you're going to rotate your neck to the left and back to center. Rotate the neck to the right and back to center. Inhale to rotate. Exhale, center. Inhale, twist. Exhale, center. One more time each side before we move on. Now you're going to rotate the shoulders. So bring the palms facing the front of the room and then bring the palms to face behind you and then out to the side. And in this way you're rotating the shoulders. Try to find as much range as possible in this movement that we don't do very often. You might even feel a few clicks and cracks in your shoulders. That's a good sign. So just take it easy to arrange that work for you today. Good. Let's do one more. Really try to reach those pinkies forward and then all the way the other way. Good. Now let's move on to the upper spine. Gentle, small twist, just the shoulders, side to side, very small. Very gentle, just trying to mobilize the very top part of the rib cage. One more time each side, keep breathing whichever way makes sense to you today. And then we can make this movement a little bigger. And as you do this, really make sure that your hips remain facing the front. So this time you will feel your whole rib cage twist around but your hips remain facing the front. Good. Here I suggest that you inhale at the center, exhale to twist. Inhale center, exhale twist. One more time each side. And the last one towards the right. Now keep the torso stable and we're just going to rotate the pelvis. So bring the left hip forward, right hip back, and right hip forward, left hip, hip back. Now this movement might not make too much sense, but it's very important. So we're basically doing the opposite of what we were doing a moment ago. We're trying to move the lower back without moving the upper back. Try not to bend the knees too much. We're just trying to shift the hip forward and then back, alternating. Good. It's as if your pelvis was rotating side to side with your shoulders remaining facing the front. Good. One more time each side. Now you're going to bring your weight onto the right foot and gently peel the left leg off just half an inch. And here, you're just going to open your foot out wide, so rotating the whole leg out, and then rotate that foot back in, so the whole leg rotates in. And then out, and in. Inhale out, exhale in. Give me two more. Really finding as much range in the hip, lubricating the hip joint. Place that leg down, shift the weight on the left foot, peel the right leg off, and again, turn the right foot out, and in. Try to feel that the movement is happening at the top of the joint. So yes, your foot is moving, that's helpful to think about the direction of movement, but you want the energy to come from the top of the thigh. Good, let's do two more. Inhale to turn out, exhale in. And one last time, turn out and bring it back in. Good. Now step the legs a little wider. And here I want you to rotate your head, neck, shoulders, and the hip towards the left. You can peel your right heel off. And I want you to look behind you as much as possible. Try to twist everything you can and then bring it back in. 
inhale, exhale, twist to the other side, try to twist as much as you can, inhale, center, one more time each side, exhale, twist, 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 look behind you, and center, and one last time, look over the right shoulder, and bring it back in. Thank you for watching.